Welcome back. We're at day two of the ANA fair. I'm at the Harkon booth and I'm joined by Guy. And Guy is going to talk us a little bit through uh, two of the exciting new products that are available. But first, Guy, what is your position within Harkon? Uh, so I work at Harkon UK. Uh, I'm the department manager for Harkon Safety and Rescue. So managing the sales, but working as part of the global team as well uh, with new products and all the strategy and the fun. All right, all the fun. Yeah, we've met at Grim Day, so you also get to join in and see all the competitors in action using your stuff as well. So yeah, that's cool. Always interesting. All right, so what? We, well, one thing I'm excited about is this thing, the, the Ninja. And what is the Ninja? This is our new Ninja Multi Ascend. It is primarily uh, an ascender, personal ascender, but we also have functionality as a rope grab. What is unique about it is a lockable front cover that makes it a single point of connection. And we have our twin cam system for very low drag on the rope, very low wear, yeah. uh, but very easy engagement. Works with a range of ropes, very easy to attach and run, and just yeah, slide without up. Without any rope. weight in the rope, it already yeah. slides up, yeah. We've got a, a unique feature on this of the two tabs for down climbing, All right. so making it a little bit safer, a little bit more comfortable. Um, so slight change in technique, but huge benefits in yeah. performance. Uh, particularly good in a rescue situation where you can open the cover and then the casualty so can be released really easily. Really easy, and it almost looks like if they're leaning back a little bit and you open it and it just already pop out. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Hopefully offers some good performance, but right. equally used in a hauling system, where we can find the pulley. And we create a rope grab and pulley. But yeah, lots of functionality, lots of, function lots of yeah, different yeah. uses. Yeah. So we're quite excited by that. And it's, it does have teeth in it. So it's not a tooth but product. But it's not very tooth, yeah. They're kind of rib. They slide nicely, they yeah. grip. Very easy to release if you were to run it into a knot. Um, yeah. Equally, if you drop onto a piece of equipment or a knot, easy to just easy to raise yeah. and, and get out of trouble. Um, shackle attachment onto the harness gives you a capability with webbing or with a hard point carabiner right. or a okay. mayon. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we're looking forward to this. That's cool. Yeah, I would. Uh, I'm excited to uh, give this uh, give this a go because because it's lockable. You. Officially, you don't need to have your Jumar attached to a lanyard anymore. It's just little things like, yeah, yeah, makes it safer. We have a little point as well. If you wanted to lock that into a system, you can put a bolt through, and then the whole ah, cover plate is actually it's really secure. locked in place, right? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Very nice. Okay, so let's move over to the. There's a new winch. There is. Yeah. So this is our top crank lockhead rigging winch 500. It's a kind of an upgraded version of our old rigger winch. Yeah. So we have a, a two-speed manual winch that drives in both directions, mounted onto a two and a half ton brake load rigging plate. Okay, yeah. So this winch you can really drop onto lots of structures, like anchor it in loads of different this. ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the feature we've added is this top element. So the rope is always captive, yeah. and then we have a lowering control, yeah. spring locks shut, but it gives us a, a safe feature where we don't need backups on the system. Exactly, you don't need to put an ASAP on anymore, yeah. or, or uh, work with a TAS or something, you just use this. So the winch is rated to 500 kilos for goods and equipment, yeah. uh, but it could be utilized with a risk assessment, with the right setup in, in a in rescue, rescue scenario. Situation. Okay, yeah. But it's, uh, Really nice functional winch. Yeah. The and manual drive is a low gear of 40 to 1. Okay. And then a high gear of 15 to 1. 15 to 1. Right. And it runs with a 19 to a 12.7 millimeter rope. Okay, so. A 9. 9. Sorry. I was like, wait, 19. that's 19. That's, yeah, yeah. that's big. Yeah, that's so, a big one. Uh, yeah, a 9, 9. That's good. Yeah. yeah. But so. yeah, nice and versatile. Pretty much go anywhere. Yeah. Use in any condition, and you can also use a drill in it. Yeah, we Same can use thing. the power drill. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be it's fun. Really, uh, really cool. So there's no real limit on the the rope length, the orientation, 
hang it, mount it. Yeah, you have lots it's of rigging points options. You can do yeah. it anywhere. So that's really good. Uh, that was I, I loved the old rigger winch, and uh, but one of my things was like you need to fidget with other stuff to have some control in the descent or have yeah. an extra person to really hold the rope while you're fixing it in place or something. So but we yeah. can vary the number of wraps of rope we have to add friction yeah. or take yeah. friction away. So you can really set it up to yeah. suit kind of how you want to work and where you want to work. Oh, perfect. Yeah. That's beautiful. Is this already available? This is available now. So this is the first official launch. Okay, that's cool. Uh, the product is available from kind of Harkin resellers, Harkin offices. Yeah. So okay. yeah. And the, the Ninja? The Ninja is coming very soon. So it will be released this winter. This winter? Uh, <laughs> winter. We've, we've yeah, okay. not given a date. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, very, very soon. Very soon, soon. okay. So that's we're cool. excited yeah. by that. All right. We look forward to seeing it at Grimp Day and, and getting people going on it. Yeah, yeah real world. So right. uh, should be that's fun. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. No problem. And, uh, nice to see you again. Yeah. Off. We go off to the next booth. Good luck. <laughs> I'm joined by Steven. Steven is from the pretty brand new company Graviton and we met I don't know 10 years 15 years ago 15 years ago uh, yeah a long yeah. time ago uh, worked together we stayed in touch on and off and uh, I just learned that there's a new company owned by Steven so can you tell me about it yeah, yeah. so we um, we started uh, Graviton it's a uh, basic to develop equipment for working at height in all different kinds, so tree work, uh, rope access work, rescue, right. and to develop uh, products uh, that are not ready there. So there are a lot of products, but we try to uh, make them a little bit better. So the flaws or the features that we miss on certain products, we try to uh, uh, in, to incorporate in a new right. uh, product. Yeah. yeah. So this would be the first product, yeah. I think? Yeah, yeah this yeah, is the first yeah. one. We've been working here on here for about three years. Okay. Um, basically, it's an adapter plate to incorporate the Harkin Lockhart winch. And the unique thing about this one is that it has a, a swimming, swinging ball uh, pulley. Right. Uh, that means that you, um, it doesn't really matter anymore uh, where your uh, rope is heading. Because if you have one anchor point at where it is attached to, you can go basically everywhere where the rope wants, where to, go. wants to go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 On this side of the blade. Yeah. So you can't go to the back, of course. But still some limitations. Yeah, mm. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> room, room for but, improvement. But this is a big difference. I don't use it a lot, but I know you use it a lot. And that's, yeah. that's why you thought yeah, of it. Yeah, that's why we like, came yeah, up yeah, with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so what are some of the features of it? Because this is the standard, this can be like the standard winch yeah. from Harken. Yeah. And so basically if we, uh, if we take the rope off, you'll see uh, we have the standard, um, the standard lock hat. In this case, the pigtail is still attached. You can take that one off because it's not needed. Because you have this. Yeah. 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 So uh, if we take the, the winch off completely, we have uh, the, well, the lock hat kit. Uh, we incorporated a different uh, different pin, so it's just a push pin, so you can take it easy easy uh, in and out. Yeah. Then we have the pulley, so we came up with a new concept because well the pulley is fixed, but you want to put in the rope. Right. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. So you don't want to feed the whole rope through. So we made it uh, swingable. Yeah, that's so like that, it goes. Smart uh, it opens. Yeah. Um, and also again with a quick pin, uh, you can put it in and out. Uh, and the whole thing is. Uh, based on a dovetail principle. So on the back, there's a dovetail. Uh, you can take this one completely off. And like you see, now you have two different uh, parts, basically. So yeah. this is the adapter plate. Uh, you can rig this horizontally, vertically. You can put ratchet straps yeah. through it. Through, yeah. Uh, oh, you even, can make it swing underneath here. Yeah, 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 yeah underneath yeah. here and underneath here. Yeah. It's all textile friendly, so you can put in your ropes directly. It's really smooth. Um, so, and on the back is a dovetail, like I said. Um, by this dovetail, it adapts to this adapter plate. Because we now have a separate adapter plate, we can put this one, for example, we can have a site where we can put 10 adapter plates fixed to a wall and only have one wind system, and we can switch it over from silo right. to silo to silo. Um, so that's investment-wise for, uh, for a company could be interesting. Yeah. And it makes it really versatile. So now you see we had dotty clamps fixed to the side, yeah. to the back. Um, but you can put it also uh, U profile for on um, uh, for, uh, tripods, for example. Right. So it yeah. makes it uh, really, really versatile, and it's all held in place. <coughs> so when it's loaded, uh, the force is always going up. 
Yeah. And this side is closed, so it can go anywhere. If we slide it in, you see that the pin the locks in, and now it's fixed. Yeah. Um, so that's really easy, and the only thing you need to do is push Pull. the pin back, and it slides down. Yeah, you could never do that when it's on the load no. because it's sliding up. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it's a beautiful, very, uh, very smart design. Like I said, we've we've known each other for quite a long time. I know his mind a little bit. There's always <laughs> little things brewing in there, little improvements and ideas. I'm pretty stoked on seeing you develop this. Yeah. And what's going to come next? Um, we're working on some things to uh, easily attach a chainsaw to a harness. Uh, that's also a flaw of well, a flaw, something that a lot of companies don't really think of. Yeah. They have some some small things, but they don't really work. Um, so we have something that we think. It's going to work. Should yeah. work better. Yeah. There are some other things coming, yeah, that's uh, cool. coming that's out cool. as well, but we'll, you'll see that in a few months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's pretty cool. Well, awesome for, for introducing this to me. And uh, yeah, thank no you problem. for your time. Thanks and see you soon. See you. <laughs> All right, welcome to the camp stand. I'm joined by Efrem. And uh, Evan is going to take us through a couple of devices, and one is uh, very enigmatic. I'm pr quite excited for it, and there's a new uh, lanyard that I would like to see. So, but first, Evan, what is your function within uh, Camp? Why yes. are you here? I'm I'm here as a work division product manager, so okay. I work in the R and D, uh, and we are proud to present uh, this year a lot of news, and uh, there is behind a lot of work of our engineers. We are. 15 engineers in our R&D, oh, okay. so that's why we can present some good stuff. Right. And uh, let's say, among all the other news that we can deliver for industrial market, tree climbing market, I would like to focus on the rope access news. Yeah. And uh, the first is uh, the evolution of our Enigma's Revolt that we yeah. launched uh, two years ago. Uh, what we done? This is a... Uh, uh, um, a swivel connector that is fully openable by using a very enigmatic, as you said, <laughs> uh, system. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, let's say that that enigma is a little bit limited sometimes because it's openable, but you make a fixed connection. Right. So yeah. that's why this year we introduced the Enigma 3 lock. It's the same construction, is modular, so it's compatible with the, with the old okay, one. Okay, yeah. But in this case, we have a carabiner, triple lock, very compact to minimize the connection length. Yeah. And a ring that is openable. So you see, as we did for the Enigma, we have a safety that is not really needed because, in fact, even if you remove the safety, it's safe. It's still safe. Ah, okay, yeah. Why? Because in uh, the direction of the extraction is opposite to the loading direction. So even if you remove the safety, you have a still you have a bomb-proof yeah. device. Yeah. It's an enigma because you have to understand how to remove first one. Then you have to put on the other side, rotate and, and remove. Out, yeah. We have also an additional safety that is these two little wings here. Okay, yeah. Because if you are not turning the device, so it's it's really bomb proof. So thanks to this innovation, what you what you can do? You can combine with a progress capture pulley, yeah. such as our turbo lock. So it's openable because the flange is openable. It can rotate, but not only, it can also tilt. That is yeah. unique for any kind of swivel now in the market. Yeah, if the direction and then of the angle you can connect because, easily yeah. and in a very compact way to your harness, to an uh, anchor point. Yeah. And the good point is that we combine a connector and the swivel in a length that is very short. Very short, yeah. We can do the same also with our giant rope access descender. You see, you have a very flexible yeah. connection. 
and like all are all these parts like interchangeable if they I they are if interchangeable I, notable, yeah. I could make this and that's and why we can make yeah. also the Enigma 3 lock double okay yeah. for also swiveling tilting and double and easy connection yeah. that's good and if you're talking about certifications, this is it's certified as a connector? Yeah, this yeah. is certified as a connector, 362 okay. EN uh, 12275, so okay. sport and, and uh, industrial, industrial yeah. and as a swivel. Ah, okay, yeah. So it has both certification, it makes it very attractive. And this tool, this... This tool, it's, a, it's like a more a gadget than a tool because yeah. the... Could, could this be like a screwdriver? The, the screw, you, you can use a screwdriver, okay. use a, you can use even a coin. Okay, it's uh, yeah. completely flexible, right, yeah. so it's uh, really immediate. Yeah, this really opens up the range of possibilities what you can do yeah. and, and be creative in, with your rigging and make it semi-permanent. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I like it. It's very easy to... Uh, you can choose one, if once you, make you have the permanent, semi-permanent, yeah. Yeah. or even with the, with the double version. Uh, yeah, so this is yeah, completely openable. Yeah, semi, this is semi-permanent, yeah. and this will be permanent. Look but at that, still it's openable. So beautiful. Is that film? So So now I lost this my train is the of Enigma <laughs> range. Yeah, and, Enigma. Uh, we really believe that can be a hit in the rope access and tree climbing and industrial market because it's really a unique product yeah. in the market yeah. today. That's very good. Um, so, Enigma, I like this. It, I'm, my mind is going like, what can I do with it? Because there are a few places where yeah. I want more flexibility with it. And I like the ease of use, not like with the little other finicky things. Yeah, but yeah that's there good. Is no screw, no, yeah. no, no, no. No, no screws, ages. exactly, yeah. And yeah. um, then we have the... This one has been out for quite a while. Yeah. The, I got questions about the Camp Druid Pro, so yeah, thank yeah. you for the person who uh, asked me that. Can you ask about the Camp Druid Pro? Well, we have the expert here, so what's, yeah. what's the difference with the Druid and the Druid Pro? Yeah, let's say that our, uh, let's say, complete multifunctional device for rope access, the sender, can, it's a, mm, the sender, a sender, full arrest yeah. two, is the giant. Yeah that can be compared to any other uh, similar complete rope access descender. But it's a little bit bigger. So a few years ago, we developed the, our Druid. It's a compact device, but you will be amazed by the controllability. Because here we have a patent saying that you can see the cam inside is very s small, yeah. but our patent is that the cam profile is outside the cam rotation point. That means that with such a small cam, you can have the performance of a, a cam that is this big. Ah, okay. What yeah. does it mean? That when you start a rappel, even with high loads, I personally try to rappel in a vertical condition with three people. Okay. And I will handling this. It's no extra so friction? No extra wow, friction. Okay. Why? Because, in fact, with most descenders on the market, you have an on-off performance. It yeah. means that it's auto-locking, but when you open the lever, then you immediately move to a open, a full open, uh, no friction. So, yeah. in fact, with most descenders, you need to control the speed with your hand. Yeah. Here, it's not like that because you can really vary in a millimetrical position, okay, yeah. and in this way you can control. You have a lot of control. Uh, the, okay, the, that's the rope. interesting. Yeah. The same concept we have transferred in the same, in a similar way also to the giant. So we can really claim that uh, our Druid and Giant descender are the most controllable descenders ah, okay. on the market. Yeah, that's the main point. And then. It's compact. We, it's, it's small. It's, it's small yeah. And uh, we deliver two different versions. The pro one is no anti panic, so for experts. Yeah. And the, the pro and the normal druid is with anti panic Click. that can be rearmed immediately. Yeah. So it's very quick. Yeah. So you have a very compact descender. It's perfect for as a secondary device on your harness. Yeah. It's perfect for rescue kits. 
is perfect for people who make um, rescue intervention because it's so because compact. Because it's small, yeah, and, and it's very again, lightweight. It's, it's not, even, not only small, but it's very and lightweight. We, uh, we claim that 200 kilograms load, okay. and it's comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need a, a deviation, you can control. There is also, if you get used to use the Druid, you can even keep your, with one hand, you can keep the lever and, and the rope, rope. Okay. and yeah. have your yeah. hand free, thanks to the controllability. Yeah. Wow, that's really nice, that's good. Yeah, and it has a, it's a descender rope adjustment device. I need my glasses, but uh, EM three for one as well, or not? Yeah, yeah. The, the, this descender is yeah. three three for one, twelve A for one two. Yeah, it's rescue, and it can also be used for um, mountaineering technique uh, with BLA dynamic ropes. Fifteen yeah, exactly. uh, one five one. And five, then five, one, yeah. this year we launched a, a news because we have installed with some variations, especially in the camp spring, the descender as a as a lanyard. Yeah. Uh, it, you will be amazed by the, uh, let's say, how smooth it is, because uh, you can feed rope with the trigger, oh, this and this like is the trigger, same, same also, yeah, yeah, yeah. also with the druid, because yeah. you can use the, the trigger to feed rope, yeah. but also to when you are uh, walking on a incline, yeah. you can you rappel yourself, and, and, right, and yeah. that's very uh, convenient, and and then you can. Uh, with this new spring, you can also uh, recuperate, uh, yeah. make it shorter, make it shorter in a, in a yeah. very easy way. So this is technically, but the big uh, advantage uh, the user will have with this Druid linear device is that we uh, certified with, with a number of different certifications, because main application is 358 for positioning. Work positioning device, yeah. But uh, in the two ways, so yeah. side rings or ventral rings or tie back or whatever, and uh, especially for roofing or uh, inclines, yeah, uh, we also have the 353 uh, slash 2, that means that it's a the full arrest. Yeah, okay. Why? Because this descender, not, on, not only here, but also as a descender, as energy absorbing capabilities okay. because it so will meaning not that it slips a little bit or? Yeah, yeah exactly okay. it is yeah. it is designed to sleep in the event of a shock yeah. it means that if you fall it will absorb energy yeah. and it will perform exactly as a full arrest okay so you you can use here as a work positioning linear knowing that in case of accident it has some absorption, some, some, some absorption. or yeah. you can use on the sternal as a full arrestor. So if I would use this, because there's longer ones probably, it's yeah. like, that you the, use there's a tension yeah. line or like yeah. a line you can clip yes, into? Yes, yes. Yeah. Then we deliver in different lengths. This is the two meters just for work positioning. But for longer version, like the 10 or 20 meter version, you can tie a lifeline, yeah. horizontal lifeline, up to 20 meters for one person. You can rig a anchor, a temporary anchor yeah. line, a 795, nice. so yeah. type B and type C as a lifeline. Yeah. And uh, to complete the list of standards, we have the three for one. That means that if you right. get a fall, it's uh, rated can, for you, have a fall, and you can evacuate right, yeah. because it's three, it's a self-emergency yeah, evacuation. Beautiful, yeah. So good. it's a good product. It's well done. It's resistant because it's hot forged. It's uh, yeah. it's really uh, durable, but it can also guarantee you all the certification needed for, for a variety for, yeah, of almost different anything works. basically yeah i like the fact that it's a very open design so dirt will fall out yeah. again and all that exactly. it's easy to clean so, yeah it's a beautiful uh, beautiful little piece of kit yeah um, and now it, when you is it always delivered with a carabiner like this or can you, you get no we deliver it we, we have many versions okay. and uh, this is uh, the normal two meters for work positioning yeah for the longer version, we don't deliver the carabiner. No connector, okay. Uh, so anybody can choose his own connector. Yeah. And uh, we also have a protection system of the, of the rope. That is good. We yeah. have a, a NFC chip to make the NFC. traceability for yeah. inspection, for uh, yeah. as allocation to users. Yeah. So really, it's a complete device that uh, I hope that all users will like. I hope so too. I hope that I like it. We will see. 
Yeah, thank you for your time and your yeah, you're uh, welcome. nice explanation. Thank you very much. And uh, we will go uh, check out the next uh, booth. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks. All right. Here we are at the booth of Scannable. I'm joined by Rob. And Rob, well, you know a little bit about Scannable. So first of all, <laughs> yeah. what's, your, what's your function within Scannable? Let's start there. Cool, yeah. So uh, my name is Rob. I'm uh, one of the founders and the CEO of Scannable. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what can you tell me about it? What, what is Scannable? What can we do? So the way that we've been describing Scannable this week uh, starts with one concept of a one platform connecting the vertical world. All right. So on the face, we are the easiest app for equipment management or PPE management, but that's the tip of the iceberg. We have a broad uh, solution underneath the surface. We will work with a lot of manufacturers, resellers and distributors and inspectors as well right. to solve the whole problem. All right. And how does it work? Because I know there are a lot of different systems out there you sure. can use. And yeah. I, well, I know you use like the, the NFC, the near field communications. Yep, that's right. So, what can what you? What does it look like? Yeah. What does it look like? How yeah, does cool. it work? What? The... So, I don't know whether you can zoom in on that, but this is the world's smallest NFC tag, and really, it's the only solution appropriate for retrofit onto carabiners. All right. Uh, this one is nice because it hides in the recess of an aluminium beaner, but we have about almost 10 different solutions now right. so that you can apply NFC tags to all the products, even the hardest uh, product, which is the steel oval as well. Right, yeah. Um, how does it work? We have an app for your mobile phone. We like to kind of joke and call this the Instagram for inspections. So, Arborists and rope access technicians. We all know how to use Instagram. They all know how to use Instagram. <laughs> so let's make inspections as easy yeah. as Instagram, you know? So we have an app. It's free for uh, single technicians and arborists, for example, to download and to keep track of all the gear that you own. Okay. And if you want to, you can put the NFC tags on, but you can actually use the data matrix or the QR code that a lot of manufacturers already put on, put on yeah, as well. Okay, yeah. So you really can start for free with your phone only, and then you can make the upgrade to add the NFC tag. Oh, so you could use well. the app just with old fashioned serial numbers as well. You can actually not... type the serial number as well. Yeah, okay. But um, that's what we don't want to do. So. Exactly, you yeah. don't want to do that. So you can scan the data matrix, and I can show you, you can pull up the information right. just by using your camera, or if you use the NFC, like this, you can tap your phone against it. And see directly all the information. All the information. Perform an inspection, yeah. et cetera. Okay. Now that's very easy. Super easy. That's super easy, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And the, like the, these chips, they're, they're glue on or they're stick on? Or how, yeah. yeah, so we have a whole range. Uh, this one is uh, two-part epoxy resin to glue it on. All right, and you, we, you provide the, the resin as well? We actually do don't we? sell the resin okay. today. We make a lot of recommendations okay, for local good. options. Yeah. And uh, we're considering to make available the glue so everything's in the same box so, yeah. when you want to yeah. do your job. But we have some self-adhesive products as well, so they're really fast to put on. Okay. Uh, we have helmet stickers that are using the appropriate adhesive, right. for yeah. example. We have rope labels, uh, zip ties, many different applications. Anything, yeah. 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 And NFC is in all the modern phones, right? That's right, yeah. So probably for the last five or ten years, uh, 90, 95% of the phones yeah. have NFC. Have an, have an issue, so yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not going to disappear. <laughs> I'll show you a cool thing as well. Because we're using NFC, um, if you pick up a carabiner that has NFC, yeah. and you're not even a scannable customer, you can tap your phone against the tag, and it, the, ta the phone knows what to do. So it opens up a unique web address for the carabiner. Really? So this is the with all the certification? With all the certification. All the inspections and everything. You can see the inspection history. You can review the manufacturer's instructions. Right. And it's public facing. That's good. Because yeah. I've had people stop the job because they're safety supervisors and do what they have to do. Exactly. And then can you show me the inspection forms and then I have to go in on my phone, on a website, look it up, and now he can and just get it. And now you can it. give it to them and say, you put your phone against I'll it. have a coffee. Exactly. <laughs> Call exactly. me when you're done. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, nice. Well, awesome. Is there anything more that you would like to share or announce? or? Um, 
Yeah, I guess we have uh, some really exciting partnerships in the pipeline. Okay. This has been an incredible show, and I would say watch this space because uh, Scannable is all the time onboarding new equipment owners like right. rope access technicians right. and retailers, but we have a lot of cool partnerships coming with manufacturers as right. well. Our concept is that every piece of safety equipment should be a smart product, and that means that you don't have to put your own tag on it. You just take your phone to any piece of equipment, scan the QR yeah. or the tag, yeah, and have access to that same sort of yeah. information. Yeah. And uh, we're making tracks on that journey. Okay, yeah, so, that's good. Yeah. yeah. So in five or ten years, you will, when you buy your gear, all you need to do exactly. is touch your phone and like claim it that it's in your exactly. stash. Sort of. Exactly right. Yeah. yeah. That makes my life a lot easier. I like it. Hopefully, that's good. Hopefully. All right. Yeah. Beautiful, Rob. Hey. Thank you very much Thanks for your for time. Asking. Yeah. yeah. See you around. Cheers. Hey. All right, welcome to the booth from At Height UK. I'm joined by Wayne, uh, Wayne's the, the owner. Yes, of Ad that's right. Yeah, I am. Yep, yep. yeah. And can you tell me what At Height uh, does? What is your business? Yeah. Okay. So we are four years old um, and, a, and a specialist manufacturer of, of pri primarily hardware products for hardware work products. at height industry, rescue, yeah. rope access. All right. Um, been in the industry all my life. Yeah. And. Um, uh, real passionate about metal products. Metal products, that's yeah. good, that's good. Yep. Yeah, so you have a big, a big booth with a lot of stuff behind us. Thank you. Um, but we're going to talk about two things. Yes. I got one question is from one of the followers somewhere, but we'll talk about that last. Uh, we're going to talk about this uh, rope clamp, this rope rescue grab, because yep. it yep. has some functionality that's quite unique. For I think. sure, yeah. for sure. Um, we uh, r Rescue grabs like this have been around quite a while. Yeah. Uh, and the one innovation or the one unique point about it is that we we um, uh, developed a rubber insert for it. Right. Okay, and this is um, molded into place at a rubber factory, um, so it's permanent. Uh, and just what it allows you to do, it creates more friction. Right. So for things like wire cable, uh, it doesn't work so well metal on metal. No. But when the rubber is put in place, it works really well. Okay. And then you have these SRLs with these really thin webbings, yeah, metal exactly. webbings, yeah. and it works perfectly on that okay. too. Because I've had them on the thin webbings. I have, I've had other, well, playing around a little bit, just having the other ones, yeah, they slipped. Yeah, absolutely. And then you yeah, have to yeah, sort yeah, of right. be finicky and careful when you put it into place, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. sometimes yeah. it works and sometimes yeah. it works. Yeah. But that with this, you can get it. And with, I've never heard of, this on a steel wire SRL. For me, sure. that's new. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, and even down to old style SRLs, which were that's some light which were. Oh, I know, <laughs> I know these guys. <laughs> that was good of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Very sweet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the old style SRLs. The old style SRLs were four millimeter. Even it grabs and They've on. gone up to four point five yeah. and five millimeter yeah. now, so it's it's great. No and problem. this has a, it's just a pin mechanism. We're yep. familiar with, yeah. Pin yeah. mechanism, so you can and, you can yeah. midline attach it, yeah. and then that's what the that's what the device looks like rubber. inside with the yeah. rubber. Yeah, we've yeah. had that for about a year, and it's and it's really successful, doing well okay. with it. Yeah, that's good. good. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, and then somebody asked me about the notch glide. Now it's a little bit out of out of the rope access realm. But I used to be an arborist. I'm always interested about the innovation. There's a lot of innovation, I think, coming out of the arborist yeah, world. Yeah, They're sure, really yeah. creative yeah. people who create what they need and what works for them. Yep. And I can see slowly some of these things creeping into the rope access world and becoming more accepted. So yep. I'm curious to see and uh, learn about the notch glide. Well, so dun, the, dun, the, dun. <laughs> the presentation is really nice, you know, with uh, all recyclable materials and that sort of thing. And um, this is the device. Swivel eye to attach into. Um, an adjuster, uh, which is made to look like a the, the stick shift of a cobra. Oh, yeah, that's, that's really? The idea. Well, that's the idea. <laughs> I've never had one, so I couldn't yeah, tell yeah, you. But I've some pictures, but yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, and the idea is, it's a, it's you know, it's for use on flip lines. Yeah. Um, the really good thing about it is that you can actually take this cam here and you can turn it the other way around. So one way it works with 11 millimeter rope. Okay. And the other way around, it works with 12.5 millimeter rope. Ah. Yeah. Okay. You can even take the cam out completely and it will work with a wire core flip line. Okay. Yep. So if you take the cam out, the green, the green is what remains basically Correct, if you take yeah, the cam out. Yeah. yeah. So you can see you've got... And it's a combination of the two actually moving. So you've got three dots yeah. and on the other side you've got two dots. Right. So that shows you which way around it yeah. is, so you know which way around it is. And if you want to take it out, you just... Yeah, okay. Yep. 
and this is a positioning device. Positioning device. You don't device, use yeah, this yeah, as yeah. a descender. No. Or, no, 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 no. But it's very light. That's the first thing I'm noticing. It's very all, light. All yeah. cast aluminum. Yeah. If you're American, or cast no. aluminium if you're if European. You're, yeah, exactly. <laughs> a small difference. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. And this is EN358, or, uh, or, or in the Arborist world, it, maybe it's different. What, well, what? It's, it's, it's built around EN358, yeah. but um, uh, we have to write a technical specification for it because of the dynamic test. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, that's beautiful. Thank you for the information. No problem. And uh, have a good trade fair. Well, Thank almost done, actually. We're on yeah, the final yeah, day yeah, here, yeah. but... Uh, Maybe I can go sit down for a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Thank you, Wayne. Thanks, Alex. All right. All right. On okay. to the next one. One more thing. At the, at height stand, I'm uh, joined by Utsi. Hi. And... Uh, Utsi is helping uh, the Assad company out with the translation when they're here in Europe and talking and speaking in English because yes. his uh, English is very good. And he is here to help me explain a little bit about their new powered ascender. So can you tell me a little bit about it? Yes, we have two kind of uh, power ascender here. This is a mini one, lightweight version. And that one is standard one. It's for uh, standard operation, especially on wind power industry. So this one is just uh, 10.5 kilograms, and uh, you can lift up and down 400 meters uh, when loaded at uh, 120 kilograms. It's 400 a meters? Yes, 400 meters, wow. ups and down. Yeah. Because when it's descent, it will recharge Which, the battery. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. So it's very light. Uh, especially we have a kind of, a, it's very similar to caving bag. So you can use, and there is a foam inside. There is a foam inside. Oh, and that's so the, the you case, can use yeah. it in the cave or confined space to drag, you know. So it's uh, very uh, suitable for the cave rescue, maybe sometimes. Yeah. So that's good. Uh, so and what was what's the diameter? like? This is more uh, yeah diameter of rope. Ah, the, the roof diameter. They are all 11 millimeter rope. 11 millimeter. We yeah. certify the rope is, is a rope by Tuferberger rope. But this rope is from sterling, it's okay, no problem. Okay, all right. And uh, I'm, uh, like with the weight limit, it's 120 kilos, is what you said? Or uh, one, uh, you mean the, the this one? Battery, uh, the working load limit yeah, working is load about uh, 118 kilograms. Okay. The working load limit. That's beautiful. And for the, this is the bigger one, the, like the rescue one, one? Yes, you can rescue or do some uh, standard uh, operation. This one is uh, the working load limit is about uh, 260 kilograms. Okay, yeah, that's huge. Yes, yeah. And a higher. bigger, bigger battery too. But it looks yes, big battery. Yes, yeah. the battery is uh, removable by yeah. to this button and this lock. We can complete remove the battery for charging or change a narrow battery. Right, and how long does it take to recharge the battery? Oh, one hour. Yes. One hour yes. for full charge. Yes, full charge. Oh, that's full charge. Uh, pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a cool device. And how does it operate? How do you go up and down? Okay, so there is a button here. Okay. You control the speed only by this button. I can use it slowly. Okay. Faster. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. So, this one is uh, emergency descent. When the battery is out, you can use this button to push and then descend down. It just yes. releases the brake a little yes, bit. Yes, brake uh, system inside. Yeah. yeah, okay. That's good. Very nice, very small, and indeed very light as well. Yes, it's aluminium uh, yeah. case. Okay, and does it have a remote control? Yes, it yeah. has a remote control here. Okay. For this mini version, you can also use uh, this to telecommunicate with uh, the body down down there. Yes, you can use this one. There is a speaker and it's a, a radio as well. It's radio, yes. Ah, it's okay. radio. So uh, you want to try? Okay. Hello, hello. Yeah. Copy, copy. Yeah. You, you, so you can hear me? You can hear me? That's, that's amazing. Yes. That's, uh, are you okay? Hurry up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that's good. And what's the range of the? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. You're I'm not, not sure. sure. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. Probably about the same 50, like well, 50 to 100 meters. Yes, probably maybe. something like that. Yeah. All right. Well, that's really good. And you can operate it up and down. Uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Battery indicators. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. 
Let's go. Yeah, high enough. That's good. And uh, how is this? Are there any ratings for dust and it's an waterproofness or waterproof, uh, uh, resistance? The, yes, like the resistance is about IP. the IP. It's one is the IP54. 54, okay. And yeah. another one is the IP56. 56, five, yes. six. okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's good. We also have yeah. another version for tactical use. It can uh, complete, completely down under water. Okay, yes. it's completely submergible, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because we all need to go up on ropes when we're on the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some people do. All right, well, thank you for, okay. for this little introduction. That's beautiful. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, that was quite the event. Reconnected with old friends, met new awesome people, and saw quite a few new products. Maybe not new in a sense of release date, but new to me. Or it was the first time for me getting my hands on. I learned a few things about old devices and new devices, but one thing is that it takes so much time to do these interviews. We were there for two days and that was way too short. We had just enough time to find and talk to the people I knew that were there beforehand. We barely had time to wander around all the other halls and have a look at some more booths and manufacturers and other companies and maybe find some new products and things that we do not know exist that are out there. One example would be Graviton, the company from my friend Steven, who is designing some really cool products. I didn't know, I didn't know he was doing that and I found out at the ANA. So that's why the ANA is a great place to find out, to go and find out about new things. All in all, we had a blast. I hope you did too. If you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment with what your favorite piece of new kit was or what you, what, or, what is something that you would be excited to work with and try out. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Stay connected. Peace.